Hi! And I'm going to start the tutorial, as I already mentioned, to how to set up Hammer to create Trouble in ter Terrorist Town, as it says right here, yeah, awesome, maps in Gary's Mod, as you can see, Gary's Mod, yeah, awesome. I'm just going to leave you right there, you beautiful son of a gun. So, there's a shortcut, CSS Hammer. I'm using Counter-Strike Source Hammer, simply because well, because you're going to have to use Counter-Strike source, you know, models and such anyway, so, yeah. I don't open it through Source SDK because Source SDK seems broken. So, don't do that at all. No, I, I never. So, this is how I'm going to do it. This is how I do it, my way. Because some people set up the whole thing with their own configuration and it works for them and I tried all that stuff and that did not work so I'll do it the easier way without having to get into a lot of things so it's my way oh good tools options this is where we're gonna get at you're gonna have and leave your configuration to counter strike source now the game data files I'm gonna remove every single one so I can show you how I do it and which ones to get. So, you're gonna get these FGD files from the Counter-Strike Source bin folder, firstly. So you're gonna take base, C-Strike, as well as Half-Life 2, as well as two more at Common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod FGD, FD, FG, FGD, yeah, I think it's FGD. As well as, again, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Game Modes, Terror Town, TTT.FGD. Boom. Everything else, you know, texture format, map types, all these other fancy pantsy stuff, leave them alone. Unless you know what you're doing with them, then don't leave them alone. Else, leave them alone. All good. All fine and dandy without having to change any of those. You know, it's all, it's all good. General, you, you can do anything with that, I guess. 2D, again, it, it doesn't really matter what you do. I'm not going to go through general 2D, 3D materials. However, build programs, there's one thing you do have to change when you're doing my way. Which is the place compiled maps in this directory before running the game. You're going to want to change that to the directory where the maps have to be in a Gary's Mod folder, which should be common Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod maps as shown over here. At least this part. Because uh, this money sign Steam user Dur, I'm guessing is a shortcut to the Steam, Steam apps, commons folder, which is where the Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod maps goes afterwards anyways. So, you do that, you set that as a directory to your maps in Gary's mod and then you're all set so okay now I'm gonna show an example so I'm gonna make a new one I'm gonna make a quick rectangular box of a map because well that makes no sense rectangular box but whatever now I'm gonna make a quick map damn it okay I'm gonna make a quick map again Uh, yeah. Not really that quick if I was trying to fix that. But, again, quick map. Uh, make hollow. Might as well use 64. Going outwards so it looks like it's all good. Fine, dandy. Uh, da -da -da, dev. I'm going to use the dev textures. I'm going to use this bump test on the floor for no apparent reason. I'm going to use this for the ceiling. I'm going to use this for the walls. Now, I believe for what Trouble in Terrorist Town maps, Info Player Terrorists is the. Uh, no, is it? No, I don't think so. Info Player Deathmatch, isn't it? I think so. I don't remember. But it's either one of those. You can check in the website. It should be at Mapping, Guides Mapping. TTT includes an FGD in several mapping stuff. As it says, okay, nope, that's the wrong one. Running a game, 
spawn. There you go. Never mind. Three. Map spawn. Nope. Spawn points. Info player deathmatch. As it says right there. So use info player deathmatches. As I put over here. And you're going to put a lot. If you're going to make your own server to host and such. But I'm just going to place a lot anyways, even though I'm not going to run this on a server. I'm just going to add a light so you know it's the map I made. And probably going to add a prop because I could have made you know a box like this a long time ago so you know this is mine I'm gonna add what is this a static so prosthetics fine I'm gonna add this random thing right in front like that as such so you're gonna name it now it's gonna save at common counter-strike c-strike maps instead because of all the settings and such again but I just left it all your map stuff is going to be saved over there but it's fine when you compile it because when the, the BSP file when you compile it is going to end up the, in the common Gary's Mod Gary's Mod maps folder instead so it's kind of weird but that's my way and my way works and I'm not willing to change that because the last time I tried to change it it wasn't working too well as I mentioned a while ago if I did I don't remember I'm going to name this uh, uh, <laughs> tutorial T T T mod. Yeah, fancy. T right, save it. F9 to compile it. You don't need to add HDR. But I'm just gonna leave it as is. Okay. Mm, it's gonna do all that, and it's already finished. Now Gary's mod. I should have shown this, but there was no such thing as tutorial T T T mod. I'm gonna do map. Tutorial. See, it shows up because the compiled map will be placed in the BSP, or the compiled map will be placed in the Gary's Mod Maps folder. So it should show up, and the game mode hopefully um, it is shoveling through. Stuff, so it should be okay. I believe in you. There you go. As you can see, this is a really ugly map. No surprise there, right? So. Again, there's a there's a light I placed. If you compare the two, what was that? Light, the, this thing, all the spawns. There you go. It should be working now. now Y'all have fun with this. Make your TTT maps. Publish it. Share it to the world. I love you guys.